willkommen, bienvenue. Right, today's video is to try and clean up this little bugger here. It, it has got rust on it. I'd imagine this is some surface rust as well. I do remember one of the guys I was riding with told me this is where the clay bakes on. So if you can see that stuff in there, that bit, I'm thinking is the clay bit. Um, we got some dirt in here from where I did yesterday's job and took the filter out. So I've got to clean all that again and get all the dirt off. I figured I'd get the engine done first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good coating of WD-40 to start with. Now what I'm going to do is just put tissue under here so it doesn't run all over everything. I've got a bit better control of the WD-40. I'm not going to do the whole exhaust. So for example, I'm not going to do in here. I'd have to take it off to get to all of that. I'll give it a rub if I can get to it, but if I can't, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Uh, I'm going to clean all this up around here, hopefully clean off where the manifold is. So let's start with giving it a liberal spraying. That looks better already. Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> now, this is just for detailing. I'm going to go get a... Uh, what do you call it? I can't never remember the words. Uh, a suggestion of one of the guys on the Fantic group was to use a scouring pad. The shop didn't really have scouring pads as such, but they had those washing sponges that have got the scrubby bit on it. So we're going to use that. So that's the scouring thing I was talking about. It's just a regular sponge with the scouring bit on it rather than the pad because the shop didn't have any. They did have a six pack of these for a squid. So I've got six of them and I bought a couple of flannels as well. I was quite annoyed actually. A flannel's a pound in the, in the shop. It's quite a lot of money for a flannel, I would have thought. Anyway, right. That's penetrated a little bit. So let's give it a rub and see how we get on. I would just like to say that I did not want to be doing manual labour, like heavily manual labour to get this off. So I'm a little bit annoyed that I have to. But you can see, it's definitely working. It's taking some of it off. I mean, my aim is to clean the bits that people can see. So everyone thinks I've got a super clean bike when actually I haven't. <laughs> Ew. It's actually coming up all right. It's not the end of the world at all, that. Not a lot of um, room between the engine case and the underside of the exhaust though. I was going to say, I wonder if that has a detrimental effect on the um, on the heat of the engine. Because heat rises, doesn't it? So I wonder if it actually does have an effect on it. I can see how a scouring pad would be a lot easier. So what you find with a sponge is that the sponge is absorbing the pressure that I'm putting on. Which is great if you're trying to go around sort of finicky angles and stuff because it will push into those I did have a wire wheel somewhere but I don't know where that's gone probably another tool that I used on a job and then it got either damaged or borrowed well, that bit in there was really manky what have you seen there see the manifold over there at the back Let's get a bit more spray on it. And this one we are actually going to use the toothbrush on. I 
it's a WD-40 and the green brush or the green scouring pad was a combination of Kieran and Chris so thanks guys it's working it's not what you'd call a quick process by any means <clears throat> but it is coming off oh I need the toilet Okay, so it is slow going, that's for sure. I'm trying to clean this bad boy up. But it is working and that's the important thing. You're not gonna get I'm not gonna get all this stuff out. And to be honest, I'm not interested in getting this stuff out. And that I would consider to be patina. No, not Tina from down the pub. Patina. Right, this has been circa 10 minutes of light cleaning. It looks all right. There's the before and after. I shall continue with this. And then put some stills in at the end. When before you can go you go. Definitely gonna have to go around the other side. quite happy with that. I'm gonna get the vacuum out and give this a blow off. Let's see if I can get some of the dust and stuff off. That's another successful video. <laughs> I love the smell of napalm in the morning. So that's the WD-40 cooking off the exhaust. Looks nice and clean though, doesn't it? Well, comparatively speaking. <laughs> 